Six years, it's gone from being an idea on the back of an envelope to a sport played in 10,000 schools across the UK. Once more, Rocketball is planning to turn professional next year and is one of the many new sports played at my old comprehensive school in Harrogate. Indeed, at schools across the UK, there are so many more sports available to pupils. And so I went back there to my old school, my old comprehensive, to see how PE lessons have changed. My old comprehensive school. But wait a minute, I I'm not that old. That's better. We're back in the 80s when I used to love the moment the bell went for PE. But how times have changed. Back then, the average number of school sports was around five or six, just the mainstream ones. The number now on offer has more than doubled across the country with sports here alone like chookball, lacrosse, volleyball, climbing and boxing, all offered as activities. And today's lesson, it's rocketball. It was started just down the road in North Yorkshire by three men who wanted to make school sport more inclusive. Hard as a pair! Hard as a pair! You score points by hitting your opponents below head height with light tennis balls. It's a double if you can catch the ball off someone's body. But you can use your sticks to block shots as well, so you're constantly changing between attack and defence. Well, that's mayhem. Five balls flying around all at the same time. It's a mixture of lacrosse and dodgeball. It's exhausting. This is really good and it's a lot of fun. You can spend loads of time with your friends. It's fast, exciting, uh, quite hard as well. With five balls in play at once and with no fixed positions on the pitch, everyone is moving the whole time. There's no hiding place and the emphasis is on the team rather than individual star players. Oh, miss! At the top levels, it's almost like subconscious. I know that Dan will be covering me. I know that if I'm going for that ball, I'll have someone behind me to protect me. The ability to hit each other with the ball is so attractive to people. With so much health and safety, you can't play conkers anymore. Six years after it was just an idea, the sport is now played in 10,000 schools and has been introduced to 23 countries. It's like having a child, isn't it? And when they get to a certain point, you've just got to let it go. From the beginning, we've seen the impact it has. You know, wherever we go, it's the same response. I've just found that children that I know wouldn't normally get involved in school sport or competitive games want to play this. I think this is a great example of the way that a minority sport, an up-and-coming new, new sport, can be really accessible and uh, inclusive to uh, youngsters. The sport is now making itself more accessible by changing its name to VX, and there's a version for fewer players as well called V4. This is played on a squash court and is much more gladiatorial. And plans are being drawn up for a national professional league next year. And they've even now paired this sport right down to what they're calling V2. It is one against one, and Amy is out again. I'm getting pelted. Amy, you're the winner! It was a bit of a blur when you play at first because it moves so fast and Amy there was much more used to the, the quick movements needed. I couldn't get hold of the ball. But interesting, I don't, I'd like to know what people think about having so many sports available to pupils now. Do you think it dilutes the talent in the mainstream sports or does it help everybody, I... more people, develop core skills? And what we'd like to know is what were you like at school? I was OK, actually. Yeah, I was, uh, was that your old blazer? That was no, they, there's some change available now. And actually, it was so fast at the beginning, it did take a while there, as you could see, to, to get used to the speed of the game. That's why Amy was so quicker to the, the loose balls that were flying around. But great at getting some kids involved, and that helps feedback maybe core skills into the mainstream sports as well.